Okay, we're going to try to figure out the uh, concentration of urea at 25 degrees in some water. So I've got some DI water here, and uh, let's see what the temperature is. Oh, kind of hard to see. It's around 25, uh, something that we're raising up here. It's 25.7, so I've got it pretty close to 25. Now uh, the reaction uh, to dissolve urea is endothermic, so we're going to see the temperature go up. So you just take a little bit of your water and uh, get it in there. It doesn't take much water. The students are informed that it's about one gram per mil. So we'll put just a little bit more. Okay, hopefully that didn't add too much water. But we're going to find out here when we start adding it in that this reaction right here is endothermic. Look how much the temperature has gone down. So this is a problem because we're trying to find the solubility at 25 degrees. So what can we do? Well, if you have a bath at 25 degrees, let's go ahead and use it. Let's go ahead and put uh, the urea and the water in there, and let's warm her back up 25 degrees. Okay. So lots of mixing. And they should see that the urea will probably start to dissolve a little bit more. But they got to get that solution back up. they got to get it back up to 25 degrees. Basically got it dissolved now. Very little left. So we're going to make a measurement of uh, the volume. And it's roughly 3.8 or 9. I'll take a better look when I get some parallax measure. So we'll measure the volume, do your calculations from grams to moles, and we'll be able to figure out uh, the concentration in your area.